Hello and happy Sunday. As you all know, this month's theme is what Jesus taught me. And one of the things Jesus taught us was one of the parables called the prodigal son. So if you don't remember the prodigal son, I'm going to give you a quick little recap. So it started off with a father who had two sons and the youngest son came up to his father and said, dad, I want half of my inheritance right now. So his father kindly gave it to him and he took half of his inheritance, packed up his things, and he took off to a whole nother country and just left his father and his brother behind. So as he's in this other country, he's splurging all his money, everything to the point that he has nothing left. So one of the citizens from that country gave him a job in the field feeding all the pigs to the point that they didn't even feed him, they didn't take care of him, they didn't even care. So what did he do? He started eating some of the pigs' food. Ew, gross, right? I know. So he thought to himself, he finally came to his senses and said, you know what, if I was with my father, none of this would have happened. So he packed up his belongings and he went back home. On his journey back way home, his father saw him from a distance and welcomed him with open arms and ran towards him and threw a huge feast celebrating the fact that his son finally came home. And not only that, but he rejoiced. Like he was so happy. He got everyone together and was so happy. But you know who wasn't happy? His older brother. See, the older brother felt like because he was home and he did everything the father said, that he never got rewarded for that. And when the father came to the oldest brother and said, hey, why are you not rejoicing? Your brother's finally home. He said, dad, like I did everything you asked me to and not once did you ever throw a feast for me and my friends. So his father said, everything that is my son is already yours. So even though the oldest brother was following the, um, father's direction, he still had a hard heart. He didn't rejoice. He wasn't grateful for what he had, which is kind of sad. And that's how we are sometimes. We feel like, yes, you know, I'm doing everything right, but I don't know if God sees me. God sees you, everything you do. And just because you may not think he's rejoicing with you, he's waiting for that right moment to expose you and throw a huge feast just for you. Now, let's go back to the youngest son who came back. Sometimes we think that, you know, yeah, our father got a plan for us and we think our plans is better than what our heavenly father has for us and we go our own way, but we always end up coming back because somewhere along the lines, we always get lost. So remember, God's way is always the right way. And even though you think your way may be right, somewhere down the line, you're going to end up getting lost. Okay? So don't be like the prodigal son. Remember. God's plan is for you to prosper, okay? All right.